Now, from the makers of Coldwater Omo... In a cobbled street in the market town of St. Catharines, two men were climbing into a car. They were handcuffed together. One of them was John Steed, the other, Jimmy Merlin. Now get in and shift over to the other seat. All right. See, we're joined together in something other than holy matrimony, Steed. Is handcuffs really necessary? In my opinion, yes. You're too canny to be left alone. Uh, speaking of being left alone, are you aware, Steed, that there's no one else in this market town of St. Catharines? The place is quite deserted. Listen. Hmm. You're right. Not even the sound of traffic. The place is quite deserted. Something's happened, Steed. And it's not me being canny. The whole thing's quite the reverse. It's very uncanny. Indeed. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. There is no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. Over one million South African housewives have proved it. And Mrs. Bodington is one of them. My wash is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of it. My husband particularly wears a lot of white plain bowls and his clothing always looks delightful. There's nothing like cold water Omo. Yes, once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Cold water Omo is the washing powder that cleans best. Lux is the beauty soap chosen by beautiful film stars around the world. They choose Lux for its rich, moisturizing lather. Lux, a beauty treatment as you bathe. Two in this story, in which John Steed has a hard time holding on to his prisoner, but Mrs. Peel blissfully sleeps through the morning after. John Steed had at last got his hands on Jimmy Murphy, a treacherous double agent who was trying to sell a new sleeping gas to the enemy. But unfortunately, in their confrontation, a glass capsule of the gas had broken knocking out Steed, Merlin, and Mrs. Peel for a whole day. The next morning, Steed had come to and been unable to raise help over the telephone. He'd handcuffed Merlin to his own wrist and they'd gone out into the streets of St. Catharines. But Merlin was right. Something about the town was very, very uncanny. Not a sound, not a person to be seen. Yesterday, this time, the place was filled with traffic. Yes, it is strange, I admit. But, um, well, I can drive with one hand. Let's get going and find out. Where are we going? I told you. Surely well, you haven't forgotten. Oh, my God. I'm so, so sleepy. It's your own fault. You smashed the capsule. I went wide awake myself. Well, relax. I'd try to appreciate the view if I were you. It may be your last chance in a long time. The car gathered speed. But as Steve drove down the deserted streets, he became more and more troubled. Something was very wrong. He stopped at the nearest phone booth, dragged Merlin from the car, and dialed a security emergency number. Five, 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 nine, 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 nine. Not even anyone awake at security, huh? Mm, might have guessed that you'd know the number. Never had occasion to use it, of course. Oh, just can't raise outside help at all, can you, Steed, old boy? I'll manage somehow. Not doing so good so far, if I may be allowed an observation. 
Come on, Merlin. I have no option. But then again, I say, where to? Back in the car, Steed continued to drive round St. Catherine's. He didn't get pretty far. get through there. That truck's right across the road. Strange. Both driver and passenger doors are hanging wide open. There's still no one about. There's got to be. Him. Uh, I'm trying to wait the bed. Well, come on. We'll walk then. Steed forced Merlin out of the car, and together they both examined the deserted truck. <sighs> no key in the ignition. I hope he daft enough to leave a truck like that. Been like it sometime. Radiator's eyes cold. I say, Steed, sudden thought, for what it's worth. What is it? It's all in the mind. We have been strangely affected by the gas. After all, it's not been tried out much before. It must have effects of hallucination. It really isn't happening at all. We're just dreaming it all. It's all in the mind. That's it. That idea isn't worth anything at all, Merlin. We are here, right enough, and these handcuffs are for real. Now, try again. I can't. Admit I'm as baffled as you. Doesn't make sense. I wish you hadn't done it. What? Woken me up. I was having such lovely dreams. This is a nightmare. There's got to be an explanation. Come on. I say, I, I suppose there's no chance of doing it, do you? I don't think so. Let's face it, Steve. This thing's greater than both of us. You can't work it out alone. Neither can I. Why not take these blasted handcuffs off and... Let's work together. No chance. Not if it's really worth your while. Keep talking and walking. 20,000. Swiss bank. No names, no strings. No deal. 30,000. Pounds? Yes, pounds sterling. Oh, sorry, old chap, I only deal in Guinness. Look, on the pavement, a boy's bicycle overturned. Kid is toys all flung down as though there were a sudden panic. What could have disturbed them in their play? I could throw in a yacht. I got one. Come on. Uh, my private plane, perhaps? No use for it. String of Arab ponies, that. I don't like them. Uh, what about a house? House in France. Uh, which part? Saint-Tropez. Mm -hmm. Splendid condition. I prefer the north myself. No, for pity's sake, Steve. Isn't there anything you want? Yes. Yes, there is. There's something I want very much. What? You behind bars. Now, come on, step up. They continued to walk the streets, but the whole district was the same. Not a soul about. Evidence of former activity was there aplenty. But whatever the people of St. Catharines had been doing, they'd abandoned it. Then, from the end of the street, there came a sound. It was a closed van, moving very slowly. On the roof of the van, a round ring area slowly rotated. There. Activity at last. Come on. Steed dragged Merlin forward, and the two men broke into a mad dash. No. Not a sign. It's odd. It was moving so slowly. Thought we'd catch it easily. Well, at least we know we aren't alone here. Hey, hey look. Steed. The bank, it's open. Doors wide open. If I'm not mistaken, aren't, aren't they banknotes on the steps drifting about in the breeze? This is getting curiouser and curiouser. Oh, at least things have taken a profitable turn. Let's take a look inside. Uh, the manager of this place will get a rocket for this. Talk about safe as the Bank of England. Look at that. Safe wide open. Notes and coins on the teller's counter. Like everywhere else, deserted. They all must have left in a devil of a hurry. Uh, something's wrong. Very, very wrong. That is obvious. But what has caused this? Hello? Hello, anyone here? Has the world come to an end? They forgot to tell us. Hey, look, the date, calendar above the far wall. 21st. Tuesday the 21st. I told you earlier. You must have still been asleep. We've lost a whole day. Not a public holiday, is it? No. Anyway, a holiday wouldn't explain why the streets are empty. This place wouldn't be open on a public holiday. It's deserted. Abandoned is a better word. I've got it. What? They've all gone to the moon. 
The quickest launch ever. No time for preparations. Left in haste. The whole town's empty, Steed. Only sign of life was that van. I say, do you think that that sleeping gas that knocked us out, maybe it's more powerful than we thought. Spread right through the town, put everyone out. And their bodies just uh, evaporated? <laughs> you know, it's really rather ironic. What is? <laughs> well, you know what they say, one man's meat is another man's poison? You've got me, Steve, but there's no one to hand me over to. <laughs> True, but the operative phrase is, I've still got you. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, at the moment. You know, I hate street brawls, but after all, we aren't in a street at the moment, and so... Merlin swept Steed's feet from under him. They crashed to the floor among the banknotes. Merlin intent on knocking out Steed. But Steed recovered, rolled on top of Merlin, and firmly pinioned his shoulders to the floor. Oh, no, no, you don't. Don't try that ever again. Can't promise. Listen. Marching feet. Sounds like soldiers. Come on, get your feet. Come, Miss Liss. Out in the street, ahead of the marching men, a small, bespectacled, middle-aged man was running for dear life. No! No! The man was John Cartney, and he was being hunted. Hurriedly, he found an alleyway that led to a garage. He stopped, panting, and tugged at the door. It opened. Cartney rushed in and slammed it to. He stood there, a trembling, sweating, terrified creature. Then there was a sudden noise. Oh, what the... Stay where you are and die like a man. No, 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 please. Please, please, no. Why, no, no, no. 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 From behind the figure of the rugged-faced trooper who confronted him, Cartney saw three other troopers step forward. Oh, no. No, no. No, please. I... I... I, I can explain everything. I... No, no, you, you're you're mistaken. I... Take aim. No. No, no. I... Fire. Steed and Merlin heard the shots and, without a word, ran towards the garage. When they arrived, the doors were wide open. On the floor lay the body of John Cartney, very professionally killed. <sighs> he won't be able to tell us anything. Look, look, look what he, he has tied round his neck, Steed. A chunk of cardboard. Yes, and on it's written one word, looter. And with a final heave on the spanner, Ronnie Miller finishes changing his flat tire in just 6 minutes, 32 seconds. Well done, Ronnie. You play any other sports? I wash the car once in a while. You look very fresh, Ronnie. What deodorant do you use? Shield for sportsmen, of course. Why? It works. Shield for sportsmen deodorant won't stick, sting or stain. In aerosol or roll-on, it's made to keep sportsmen cool and dry. Think what it can do for you. There's just no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. Mrs. Gray of Durban has this to say. Uh, I can't even explain it. it. It astounded me. I was really and truly very astounded. Once an Omo user, always an Omo user. The Avengers. <laughs> Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. 
brought to you by the makers of Coldwater Omo.